there welcome back to my channel and welcome to my favorite video of the whole year and that is my decorate for Hanukkah with me I'm so excited to invite you guys along to decorate for the first time in my new house for Hanukkah this year so come along we're gonna be decorating and getting everything ready for the holiday I'm also going to be showing you guys some present ideas baking ideas DIY ideas and on that note thank you so much to Michaels for sponsoring this video I'm so excited to show you guys all of the Hanukkah stuff they have in stores as well as some really cute and fun DIY ideas that you guys can do in your own home to make the holiday special and all yours so let's go I'm gonna rewind back in time to when I want, popped into Michaels to go shopping so catch up with you guys in my car oh and one more thing stay tuned to the end of this video because I'm going to be giving a surprise and delight gift card to one of you guys for $250 to go to Michaels and get the stuff that you need to make your holiday special at home. Okay, let's jump in. I love to do with kids is to have them do their own canvases and then use them to decorate that way they really like participated in it and it's so cute and then you can keep it for years to come so I think I'm gonna do this 12 by 12 size this one comes in a pack of two and I have two little boys so be perfect Okay, so we're back from the past, back home, and before I jumped into my actual decorating, I wanted to show you guys a little brief overview of some of my favorite Hanukkah decor finds that Michaels has in store. So this is a little overview of some of my favorite Hanukkah items. I loved these dreidels. I've never seen anything like them before. I thought they were so cute with all their different messages, and they're really big, so they make a great statement for decorating. I also love the pom-pom garlands. I thought they had sort of like an organic feel to them that I really loved, and the colors on them were beautiful. And then I found these window decals, which I know my kids are going to love, so I'm really excited about those, as well as these Hanukkah signs. There was actually so many different ones with all kinds of cute messages, so I've got those for all over the house and then this really cute string of menorah lights to go up i'm going to put them in my kitchen along with these mugs they had some really cute little hanukkah mugs and some awesome kitchen stuff like these lollipops and tons of candies and chocolates and dreidels of course and then i found my favorite thing which are these cookie cutters i use them obviously for cookies but also to do a diy project which i'll show you guys in a sec and then these amazing candles they smell so good and are beautiful for decor and gifts so this is what my kitchen is looking like right now and I am so excited to give it that Hanukkah and festive feel. Because we spend almost all our time in the kitchen, it's definitely a room I wanna make sure to decorate for the holidays. And I know a lot of you guys ask me about what to do and how to decorate if you have an interfaith home, if you might have folks who are celebrating Christmas and Hanukkah in the same home, or you're inviting folks over who celebrate those different holidays. So I want to give you guys some inspiration for that. Now normally we don't decorate for Christmas at all in our home. Home, but I wanted to show you guys a quick trick that you can do if you want to incorporate a little bit of both holidays into your home. So I'm going to show you guys how to use the Michael's Dream Tree in your kitchen and give it that really special feel and make it a loving and welcoming place if you have an interfaith home. So I'm not going to pretend that we have a Christmas tree normally or anything like that, but I just want to show you guys how you can make it work in your home if that is your family. Okay, so let's get started. So as you guys know, we never have a Christmas tree in our house, of course, so I'm so excited to decorate this Michael's Dream Tree for you guys because I know there are so many folks at home watching this video who do celebrate Christmas and Hanukkah in their homes. So I wanted to show you guys how you can incorporate that to make it a loving and welcoming place for people of all faiths if they're all living in your home. Then I also made my own garland for the tree because I wanted to make my own message, which I'll show you guys at the end. And then I'm just decorating the rest of my kitchen with all the gorgeous little accessories I got from Michaels. Okay, so I'm almost done with the kitchen area. 
sneak peek what I got going on over there. And now I'm gonna decorate my island, which is really exciting for me because in our old house we had more of a peninsula, but we ate on it every day. So I couldn't really decorate it, especially with little kids. But now I've got this big, huge open workspace and I want to show you guys some really beautiful things that Michaels has. The first being this beautiful picture frame. What I love about it is it looks good from all sides. So if you have one of those funny areas in your house like an island where you don't want the back of something showing, I love this. And I just got our Hanukkah photos from last year. Maybe I'll update this <laughs> if I get ours done early enough this year. Um, so I'm just going to pop that into this frame. And then I'm going to be using the beautiful candle holders again and this gorgeous gold tray in the center. This was another one of my finds that I saw near the flower section. And speaking of which, I'm also going to be using some of the flowers that I used on our fireplace mantle here on the island to kind of tie the two rooms together because they open to one another, which I'll show you guys when I'm all done. Okay, let's get started. So I wanted to decorate with gelt like I always do, as well as these beautiful blue flowers. I'm actually going to be using them in my living room as well, which ties the rooms together. And then I hang up this adorable garland in the kitchen on my countertops. I love adding these nostalgic decorations. To me, they remind me of my childhood, and I love having them in the kitchen because that's like, you know, the center of family life. Um, and then, of course, I've got the mugs and the little cupcake toppers and things like that for when we do some Hanukkah baking over the holiday. And I have my cute little sign, Eight Nights, Eight Lights, which I love, and some more of those giant dreidels. I also use them in um, other parts of my house as well, which I absolutely love. And then on my kitchen island, I always love to have fresh flowers. I think it's so beautiful, especially in this time of year where things get darker and colder, as well as, again, the beautiful blue flowers and the little tray with the Ghirardelli chocolates and gelt and flowers. And this is what the room looks like. I add a little Hanukkah garland to the front of the island. Now I'm going to use my Instagram type of magic, do that little snap, and here is what it would look like if we had a Christmas tree in our house to incorporate traditions from both families and as you can see I added my own homemade garland that says warm and light which is a play on the Christmas phrase warm and bright because light is all about Hanukkah and I just feel like it ties the two holidays together really beautifully but it's still you know clearly a Christmas tree and it's not so much about mixing the two holidays but letting them both be present in a home where families celebrate both so I just wanted to give you guys some inspiration if that is what your home is like okay so now moving on to a little diy project i did with my cute kiddos max and corey i wanted them each to make their own special artwork for hanukkah i love giving kids canvases to paint on they're really inexpensive and they make such an impact and then i use them to decorate the house with so this is my one and a half year old corey who's very excited and intrigued to be able to paint and of course he got his hands dirty very quickly as you'll see but this paint this crayola paint is super super washable we literally got it on my kitchen counters and everything and it was totally fine and washed right off so I really let him go for it and then we added the little cupcake toppers we used as sort of Hanukkah stickers it worked really well here and this is my older son and he did his little painting job and I just love having these memories of them from this very special year and that they got to do this gorgeous Hanukkah art project and hang it in our home for the holiday and while we had our paints out we did a cute little DIY frame as a gift for the grandparents so I know they'll love that and then I and then I'm just adding their names to the canvas with these stickers they're actually cardboard stickers you just peel off the back and stick them on so that they're personalized and it really ties them together beautifully to hang in our to hang in our living room okay so this is our family room this is what it looks like totally undecorated we just have our couch and ottoman and fireplace and then we have our back stairs there's my tripod <laughs> over there so i'm going to make this whole room give it its hanukkah vibe let's do it
So at the bottom of the fireplace, I love to put our Hanukkah gifts. And what I'm doing now is making some DIY Hanukkah wrapping paper. Like you saw, I got these Hanukkah cookie cutters from Michaels and I'm using that same washable Crayola paint on just a plain roll of white paper. I also have all this gorgeous wrapping um, accessories to use like the gorgeous ribbons and things like that. And then I'm taking some of the awesome finds I found at Michaels for the kids, all these little cute presents like this discovery kit, a Crayola kit, and just wrapping them up and decorating them. I really find a lot of joy in this activity every year, as you know if you guys have watched my channel before. I love being creative with this aspect of gift giving so much. Then I got these tall glass canisters from Michaels and I used a ribbon to make them blue and Hanukkah themed and put in some extra pom-poms in there as well as dreidels. I love this look for a fireplace mantle and I think it's gorgeous and really cost effective as well. And then on our stairs, I just added a few little lights, some greenery. I wanted to tie in that winter greenery to the fireplace as well as a big Hanukkah garland to make it really fun and festive. And this is the finished look. I think it's so happy the way it came out. We have our Hanukkah with the candles, the beautiful flowers and greenery, our happy Hanukkah signs, the vases with um, the dreidels in them looking really cute, and then of course the gorgeous candles which smell amazing. <laughs> Such an impact. I love hitting all the senses with that. And then the gift wrap that's all been personalized. Each one's got a name tag for who it's going for, and I love all the dreidels and special pieces there, and then of course the canvases that my little boys made my favorite part of all and then I just have a little set up for dreidel near our um, couches so that the boys can play and eat some gout so of course they were very happy to do that <laughs> and then this is Hanukkah in our home just baking cookies and eating cupcakes and having fun with everything and just enjoying our time together okay and here's what you guys have been waiting for I'm going to be surprising and delighting one of you guys with a $250 gift card to Michaels to help make your holiday special so all you have to do is comment down down below that you want one of these and let me know so that I can surprise and delight one of you and also follow me on Instagram where there will also be a chance for that surprise. I hope you guys have such a happy Hanukkah and happy holidays. I hope you liked this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel to see more, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!